So, uh, in parasitic infections, uh, the number one disease you need to remember is scabies. It is present worldwide and uh, it has no specific predilection for any kind of race. Uh, but it is more common in the children and the young adults and uh, also in the overly crowded areas or in low socioeconomic status uh, people in poverty in nosocomial settings or in immunocompromised individuals or where there is a high sexual promiscuity right so uh, the causative organism is sarcoptis kbi the, the variety is hominis it's a mite it's an arachnid uh, and uh, it has usually 40 kind of varieties but uh, the most common that affects humans is hominis. So, uh, the features are usually that uh, it, is, it is characterized by superficial burrows, which is very, very pathognomonic, uh, because if you find the burrows, uh, the curvilinear burrows on the skin, uh, high chance of this scabies, not any other disease, right? So, you find burrows, you find intense pruritus, especially at night, nocturnal pruritus, a very, very important point to remember, and there can be secondary infections as well. The primary lesion, however, is superficial linear burrow, right? Along with that, you may find inflammatory papules and even nodules, especially in the axilla and groin. The secondary lesion may become crusted, so it may, it may show urticarial crusted papules, small in size, there may be plaques even, eczematous plaques. It's a complication. And excoriations due to severe uh, scratching due to pruritus. Uh, the sites are axilla, groin, buttocks, hands and feet, like palms and soles, especially the web spaces and the uh, under side of the flex, uh, flexor compartment of your wrist, your elbows, and uh, in adults, usually head and neck is spared, but in infants, the whole body is affected, all right? Uh, the pathophysiology is that the scabies mite, usually the females, they uh, actually uh, lay eggs uh, in, in your stratum corneum, the superficial, the superficial and the outermost layer of your epidermis, and uh, these mites have actually an incubation period of about one month so around from three weeks to six weeks and uh, after that you will uh, feel pruritus right so uh, they also live on clothing and sheets and fomites for about two to three days but remember that the main route of transmission from one to one uh, one person to another person is actually direct contact right not fomites fomites is not a frequent uh, device uh, to uh, transmit this infection to another one, right? So direct contact is more important. And a re reinfection may occur, uh, reinfection uh, may occur, and which may be followed by hypersensitivity of late type that uh, starts in 24 hours. That is why that even when the disease is cured, the patient may feel pruritus for up to six weeks. And he thinks that uh, the, the infection is back. Actually, it has not come back. It's just the uh, late onset hypersensitivity. You need to uh, educate the patient on that. The investigation is that microscopic examination is the main tool of the root and content of the burrow. And apply, uh, it can also apply mineral oil and then uh, even scrape it. And you, you will find mite and eggs and feces if you cannot detect it on microscopy. Uh, you can do this uh, scraping method. There is also a method of, uh, of staining with India ink and then washing it with alcohol, you will, you will find the burrows more highlighted. Uh, skin biopsy sometimes is done and it shows scabies mites. The management is that you bathe and then apply permethrin 5% cream from neck down to soles of feet and uh, it, it, it must be left on for about 8 to 14 hours and then it requires a second treatment uh, after one week. Right, this is the first line treatment for scabies, permethrin. Uh, you have to change your underwear, your undergarments, and wash them twice with detergent in hot water cycle, then machine dry it. 
and you need to treat all family and members and close contacts and the pruritus may persist for two to three weeks even for six weeks after the effective treatment due to prolonged hypersensitivity reaction I told you and uh, some mild potency topical steroids and antihistamines can be given for symptom management uh, uh, after the disease is over, uh, remember that uh, if you if if you if you treated with steroids prior to the diagnosis of the disease, it may mask the symptoms and we call it scabies incognito, right? The differential you need to, to think about is with multiple types of eczema and derm and 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 uh, dermatitis and uh, dermatitis hepatiformis, contact dermatitis, allergic uh, atopic dermatitis, lichen simplex. This is all about scabies that you need to remember. Please subscribe to the channel. That will help me a lot. Signing off.